Hey, what's up, Neptune? This is Patrick and Paul, and we're back with another episode of Neptune Ask Me Anything. What's up, Paul? Hey, Patrick, how's it going? Good, man. Good. I uh, I heard that there was some updates to Apex Fusion. People have been uh, noticing. Can you walk us through this? Yeah, we've gotten a lot of questions recently about things changing in Apex Fusion. And I'd like to take you guys through um, and probably knock out a lot of those questions just by giving you a little tour. So I'm going to go into share mode here. First things first, uh, there is a change here. Drop in the comments if you notice what the change is. It's uh, sort of a, uh, a superficial art artistic change, um, but we'd love to know what you guys think about it and call it out. I um, think that might be fun, but let's get into some of the, uh, there's some use, more useful things too, right, Patrick? Yes, yes. I heard there was something in the settings where you go to device settings. Yeah. So um, last time, Patrick, you and I talked about calibrating a Trident MP to match, you know, other handheld testers, other test kits, that sort of thing. And people immediately, because we, you know, because we're always talking about it, went to go look for a task for that. And they were looking through all of the tasks and they kind of realized, I can't find it here. And we sort of looked at it and said, yeah, we have a lot of things here that make things easier for people. You know, uh, just sort of take you through step by step on how to set something up, how to calibrate something, how to change reagents. And, uh, it, the, the, you know, they're really useful, but man, there's quite a bit of them now, aren't there? It's a, it's a huge list. And yes. uh, so... One of the things that's important is, at least for me, I, I want to be able to take action when I'm in the context of working with something. Yeah. So one of the things that we decided to do was let's take people to the relevant tasks when they're already in and working with the device at that moment. Exactly. So um, a lot of people are device oriented, thinking about the device that they're using and um, you know, are in the module setup and configuration, and they want to do things with that module. Well, tasks make that really easily, but they weren't really connected. Now they are. You'll see this box down here that says tasks. You click on it, and then bingo. All of the tasks associated with the Trident MP will then be displayed for you, so you can get down to business. All right, all right. That's pretty cool, man. And then you'll notice up here, right, that we actually just have this new tag field. So let's say that you want to, you know, uh, do some sort of something with additives. Well, guess what? We have a dose and we have Trident controlled dosing for your ACM. Let's say you want to configure some alarms. Well, all of your alarms are tagged right there as well. So, uh, you know, we've made these relevant tags here associated with the kind of things that you'll be doing. So if you're not sure exactly what it is you're looking for, but generally know that you're going to be calibrating things, well, there's a tag for calibration that shows all of the devices that can be calibrated. And then you can put multiple tags if you so choose. So, you know, you have that ability as well. You know, you want to calibrate a dose. Well, you just select dose and calibration and those sort of things show up. So now if you go to the dose page, will it show you the tasks related to the dose? Yeah, exactly. So okay. devices that have tasks associated with them, those are devices like the FMM. Those are devices like the uh, dose, the core, the Trident MP, the Trident ACM. Now, now all have tasks hot linked to their module configuration and setup. So, um, you know, when you're doing something in that module um, and uh, you just you click on its settings, now all of the easy tasks are going to be served right up to you. 